What's up, guys? It's me, Trickett. And yes, it is early in the morning. <laughs> I got up at like, I don't know, three something. <laughs> you know, that's them angel hours. That's the hours that God be talking to you. Look, man, my hair is crazy. It is what it is, all right. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> hey, guys. Um... If it is your first time hanging out with me, what's up? My name is Trickett, and um, I have a lot of knowledge, knowledge and wisdom to share with you, and a lot of good energy. And if it, if you are returning, well, I just hope you're learning something. I hope you're growing. I hope you're getting better, and not just watching the videos and listening to the videos. But I hope you're actually utilizing the things that I put out there so you can benefit from them and be a better version of you, right? Absolutely. So guys, it is, let me open up the blinds. Yeah, it's already light outside. It's like 10 minutes or so to six. It's all good. Hope everybody's doing well. It is Spiritual Sunday for me, hopefully for you, <clears throat> and whatever it is <clears throat> for you today, I just hope that um, it's going to bring out the best in you, right? So, um, and for all those that go to your institution today, your churches, that's all love. I just hope you're getting better. I just hope you're growing. I would hate, like your child, you would hate to see your child stuck in one grade year after year after year after year after year, not getting any smarter, not getting any stronger. That would disturb you. I just hope you start to feel the same way for all those that go wherever you go to get better. I just hope you're looking at yourself like you would look at your child. Am I growing? Am I getting better? Um, am I still in the same class? Am I still at the same level? Do I still deal with the same issues? If so, you're not growing. But if you're like, you know what? Before I came here, I was all jacked up, but I've been here like a year and now I've overcome this and I've overcome that and I have more love in my life and I have less toxicity in my life, and then you're winning. Stay where you're at. That is a real institution that is bringing about change. Okay? So, I'm just saying. And um, I guess, what's up? I'm just out here hanging. I'm just talking. I'm up early and just talking. I'm always up early, but I decided to just jump on, right, and do a video. I got, it feels weird. It's just the, the weight off of me is just amazingly light. You know what I mean? Like I can tell like a whole lot of people have been shut down from sending their magic. My guides are on point. My ancestors, I salute you. Thank you. Because I can tell, I know what I feel every day. And at this particular point, there's still someone local in town. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about that person. This person's trying to hold on. To someone, to an energy, I'll just say, to be nice. Because when I ran a check... We're good old faithful right here. When I ran a check and I was like, the person right now, because it's like one person, I feel it's they're very weak. I can feel it. It's just weak. But I can feel it. Because I'm an empath, so you can't slide it past me without me knowing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I had asked this question. I'm gonna let you see. Because I'm no joke about it. Spirit, the person that is putting 
black magic on me. The person that they're with, do they know? And that right there, my friends, is why I do not come for both of them. Because I would shut this down ASAP. Is this person that is with them doing this in secret? It's not a secret because I just made a video. That means I know what you're doing and you keep playing with me. That's not good. Is it wise for this silly girl to continue to keep playing with me? I wonder what kind of spell she'll have to stop the power of God. Look, I'm able to know everything she's doing. Am I able? Look at that. Yes, there's no secrets. <laughs> but when you don't know what else to do, when you're broke, when you live in fear, when you have no light inside of you, when your light is just completely dark, and your insides are rotted out and you're like a corpse inside. You resort to this, to magic. <laughs> I'm already dark. I'm just going to, you know, I'm already evil. I'm just going to, you know, try some more evil or whatever on this guy while I'm hiding. How does that work? <laughs> Man, this person is so weak. Their magic is weak. The people that have just been banished was way stronger than this person. This person's not even a... They're not even competition for me. <laughs> but they are putting it on me. I can feel it right now, guys, while I'm talking to you. Look, even spirit said, yeah, that's all right. Spirit, are we going to deal with this person? See? Will this person get away with what they think they're doing in secret? This is for the Leo out there that I, hey, much love and respect to you. But your friend, as you see, their fate is not going to be good. Not. Maybe you might want to step it up. <laughs> not you. I'm saying, you know, your, your dark friend that you have. Because <laughs> she's not a light worker. <laughs> your friend is a demonic demon. But it's your friend. So I told you demons, they don't even affect me. They don't. But, um... I don't make friends with them in the 3D either because in the 3D, they jump into people and then they use them to do things that they couldn't spiritually do to me because I outranked them. So they have to find some low vibrational person like your friend. I'm not calling you low vibrational, but your friend, Leo, is very low vibrational. She's demonic. You have a demonic friends. I don't have demonic friends. Do I have any demonic friends with me? I just wanted to make sure because I would clean house ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> but you hold on to a demonic friend. Spirit said, yep. I'm going to leave that between you three. Leo, your demonic little demon and spirit that is saying, yeah. She keeps company with the devil is, let me ask you, Spirit, wishing no harm on no one because you know I'm love and light. But are, are there consequences for entertaining evil when you know the person is evil? Wow. That's a big old yes. Some people like to put their self in harm's way intentionally. So this person's basically at this point is with someone that has bad luck. And unfortunately, it's going to get worse for the both of them only because one person knows they're entertaining. They 
The, the Leonos are entertaining a witch. They know that. There's no secrets about it. The spirit, let's, let's ask, because I hate to put judgment on anyone. Does Leo know that this person's a witch? Yes or no? We're going to wait for some movement. Does Leo know that this person is a witch? Yes or no? So now they even know. So God is saying, look, I'm the one that controls your future, your life, your legacy, your everything. And you know that you're keeping company with a black magic witch. Okay. Well, I'm just going to say good luck to the both of you. And when spirit shows up in my ancestors, whatever you guys decide on, that will be on you guys. Because I wish no harm, not even on the witch that is trying to like hurt me. She doesn't even know me. But if you talk to her, because she stalks me and watches me from sun up to Sunday, because she wants me to. That's crazy, right? But anyway. Um, does she want me, spirit? <laughs> I don't have to lie about nothing. <laughs> you see that hand move? No, Jack, let's stop. Spirit, stop. Let them know that I'm connected. Let's let's get a real close up on this. I want Leo to see this, but she probably knows. Does Leo friend also want me? Of course. I'm chosen. I'm magically magnetic. If I let her in my life, she'll never want to leave. Look, confirmation. God, God is saying, you're absolutely right. She's doing all this, but she wants you. And if you let her in, she'll be hooked. Look, he stopped the confirmation to say yes again. It is what it is, guys. I know who I am. <laughs> There's no secrets. <laughs> but we could pretend like there is, right? But anyway, I send the both of you, your friend, Leo. I send you and your friend, Love and Light. Can we send them love and light right now? Let's send them love and light. Because you know I don't have no hate. Love and light. People that are broken do broken things. See, I'm going to send you love and light. Hurt people try to hurt other people. Whether they know them, don't know them. Part of my groupies. I get it. But I'm going to send love and light to this person. And I'm sending love and light to the person that, you know, that's your friend. You call that a friend. I don't have demonic friends. They will be cut off because they bring you bad karma. But sometimes we always have to learn the hard way, right? So right now, I'm going to send love and light. See, it's still going. I'm sending love and light because I'm just, I don't need to send hate. Hate comes back and I don't wear hate. It doesn't look good on me. <laughs> so anyway, look, spirit stopped spinning. So he said, look, that's enough love and light for them. <laughs> And so take it, enjoy your spiritual Sunday, Leo and your friend. Hopefully some light will come into her life because uh, light will only bring her the life that she thinks that she can have. Light will only give her the peace that she obviously doesn't have. Joy that she obviously doesn't have. The man, obviously, that she doesn't have. It is what it is, right? It'll bring her all the things that she's fearing. Oh, I'm afraid to lose. I'm afraid to this. It'll stop all that. But she's in darkness. She's a puppet for who she plays with. The devil don't love her. He's like, I hate her too. <laughs> because <laughs> God created her. So, of course, I hate her. <laughs> but I will use her. Because she... Is not about doing what's right. She's infected like a disease. So she's like a bad disease. And so instead of spreading love and light, instead of being kind and caring, she's disturbing and ratchet. In her thinking with the energy that she decided to put on, that sucks, but it is what it is, right? So I sent love and light. And 
uh, it just it is what it is. You know what I mean? This isn't going to last. I just had a whole entire group of people shut down. I feel so light. That was way stronger than this person. So this little tiny bit of whatever she thought. I'm not even going to go into that, guys. Once again, frightened people do scare things. They even send low demonic demons that are lower rank. That's like sending an ant to fight an eagle. You're like, okay, well, I'm not connected on high levels, but you know, here I need. <laughs> and you go find an ant to go fight an eagle. And the eagle's like, dude, I'm so high up. I would have to fly thousands of miles down just to be on your level. And that's only because of the energy that you're wearing. You're probably a great person. Underneath all of that darkness, underneath all of your pain, childhood wounds, unhealed uh, 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 inner child, and, you know, your shadow that's never been worked on. But under all of that rebel, there's a diamond. There is. There's a diamond. That's why I'm not going to be hard on this person. Because there's a diamond. I read people. I know people. I know what they what what their insides are really like. <laughs> now, what you want to act is one way, but I know who you really are, though. So I know you're not a tough person or anything like that. You're just a broken person. See, God is like you are absolutely right. I should be getting paid, Spirit, for this counseling. Look, He said, "Yeah, it's even bigger." So I guess in the future, I will. Oh, and there's confirmation. So I guess I got some counseling work to do in the future. I like helping people to get better. So it's all good. So hopefully this person will not use all the years of their life living in regret. Because you're already going to have karma coming from me. Spirit, is she going to reap karma for Dealing with me. Okay. So you know you have karma coming to you. Accept it. Don't fight it. Receive it. Take the take your lesson. Because it's going to be a lesson you're about to get put on you. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing because I just think the whole thing is silly. How people continue to try to outrank people. They do not outrank. When you see an ant on the ground, does it? frighten you? No. You know why? Because you're like, I don't have nothing to worry about. Now, can an ant bite you? Yeah. If it's a red ant, it can bite you. And if it has a lot of ants and they're like, say on your foot or something, you're not paying attention in the front yard. I've had this happen when I was a kid and I had like a hundred ants on me and I'd start running, dragging my feet. And when I looked down, I had all these white bite marks from red ants. Did they kill me? No. Were they able to affect me like where I felt it? Yes. So this is like black magic. You can feel it, but it can't affect me. It can't take me where they want to try to take me. Not strong enough. You didn't put enough work in to outrank me. So I guess I can dedicate this to the person, to, to Leo's friend. I'm just going to call it Leo's friend. There's a lot of Leo's in the world, right? There's a lot of Leo's in this town, right? So I don't want to single nobody out, but Spirit knows what I'm talking about. And that person knows what I'm talking about because they both watch me. And I've only sent love and light back to you guys because I'm, I'm cool like that. My name is Trickett. Really? <laughs> you don't get negativity out of a guy named Trickett? That's a cool guy. the Cali guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all love. It's all good. For real, real. <laughs> and um, that's about it, guys. I just want to get on here because I was up early anyway. And uh, I'm just enjoying, you know, trying to fit in. <laughs> trying to fit in with, I guess, society that, that to me, I'm just completely different from a whole lot of people you know so 
this is going to be challenging. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I might just start protecting other people. You know? If, you know, since it seems like it got kind of quiet. <laughs> Excuse me. Since it seems like it got quiet, you know? I was always warring, but it's like, what do you do when the war's over? <laughs> You know, I'm like spirit. I'm a king. I won the war for you. Look, he's saying, yeah. And I'm like, doesn't every king have a queen? But I guess in my case, my queen is my feminine side. And the masculine is her king. Empress and emperor right here. Two and one. Because I'm not going to lie to myself, cheat on myself, or do black magic on me or any of people that I know or of your, or even on your friends and family that may not even like me, don't know me, but doesn't, you don't have to know people when you're unhappy. You're just going to do unhappy things because you're unhappy, right? See, even spirit said, absolutely. People that are unhappy just do unhappy things. I don't like this person. Never met them. I don't like this person putting black magic on them. Never even spoke one word in the physical to them. That, that's some kind of cray cray for real. People speaking on my name as if they know me. <laughs> Saying people are frightened. <laughs> Oh, better be lucky that I'm not throwing my power back to hurt you. I don't want nothing. To, I'm not sending nothing to hurt you. You, Leo's friends that stalk me and watch me, and I'm not sending no evil towards no one. I'm not you. I'm not none of you. None of you. I carry none of your energies. None of you. If I had those energies, I would burn it before I became any of you. Because you guys aren't really the nicest people. But under all of your darkness, confusion and uh, disappointment and unhealed child and just all of your brokenness, I know that there's a good person in the both of you. Serious. I know there is. I'm not just saying this. See how spirit ain't even moving? Because he knows I'm serious. So guys, I wish Leo, I hope you get the help that you need so you can make better choices to pick better friends to uh, so you don't reap the karma that's coming on them because it's going to spill over to you because birds of a feather flock together. I don't know. Just choose better. I would like to see your life go better for you. See, Spirit is even saying, yeah, he was. <laughs> okay, there he goes to confirm it. I would like to see your life get better. Because you live a very unhappy life for years. When I first met you and seen you at your place of business, the first thing I asked Spirit was, can I heal that woman? That's how bad I, that's, that's all I seen in you was pain. Probably everybody else was trying to see, you know, whatever this, you know, whatever. But I just seen pain and suffering. And here we are, went through the pandemic and everything. And then the person's still in the same pain and suffering, still unhappy. So hope you guys get that stuff together. You and your friend. Work it out. But without light, I don't know how that's going to work. But karma is on the way. That that, that I'm not going to call it a demon no more. That spirit, karma. See? Spirit is already saying yes. It's coming to visit you now. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Now. See the confirmation? You see that hand moving at all? No. None. Because I'm really 11-11.
<laughs> uh, see, look, <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm really connected <laughs> in a major way <laughs> and a master at energy. Can you imagine I could just have conversations with anyone? Go to any realm. 